Golden rice is the first of its kind, a variety of rice purposefully developed through genetic engineering offering improved nutrition in the form of beta-carotene. This is an important source of vitamin A, which supports a healthy immune system. Ordinary rice does not contain beta-carotene. In countries where people depend on rice for nourishment, golden rice can help reduce vitamin A deficiency. The International Rice Research Institute and its national research partners have been developing golden rice to address a serious public health concern. In the 1990s, when the idea behind golden rice was conceived by Ingo Petroikas and Peter Bayer, nutrient deficiencies were a widespread problem in several parts of the world. Unfortunately, food and nutrition insecurity are still on the rise. Vitamin A deficiency can cause health problems, such as an impaired immune system and stunted growth. It can also cause problems with eyesight. In Bangladesh, for example, a number of successful initiatives may have lowered the national average prevalence of vitamin A deficiency, but studies have shown that in some marginalised settings with high poverty, vitamin A deficiency is still acute. In places like Bangladesh and the Philippines, there's a continuing need to ensure all children have the nutrients they need. As rice is an important part of the diet in these regions, this is where golden rice and its beta-carotene content has an important role to play. The path that led to the development of golden rice began in the 1990s. However, good science takes time. The researchers had to ensure it met strict biosafety standards at every stage of the development process. Overall, it can take a few decades to create and develop a new variety of rice. For the rice itself, the journey from idea to reality began in the laboratory. Plants were carefully studied in a protected greenhouse, or screenhouse, before moving on to field trials. Throughout the development journey, the team behind Golden Rice have been committed to both transparency and the highest scientific standards. As part of this, the researchers addressed five important questions to farmers and consumers. First, they asked, will golden rice be nutritious enough? The golden rice researchers investigated different genes until they identified one that sufficiently boosts the beta-carotene content of rice. Next, the team asked, will golden rice be safe to eat? Extensive research has shown that it is as safe as ordinary rice. It's received various safety approvals, demonstrating that regulatory agencies agree with the research findings. Third, will golden rice be affordable? The golden rice trait has been incorporated into affordable and popular rice varieties in each country. This means farmers won't need to change their farming methods and consumers won't need to change their food preferences. The fourth and arguably most important question is, will golden rice be available to those who need it most? Eerie partners in the Philippines and Bangladesh will ensure that it's released first in the communities most in need. And the final fifth question, who benefits from golden rice? The answer to this question is simple. The inventors have donated the patent for humanitarian purposes. In each country, golden rice will be managed by national research partners. Ultimately, communities who plant and eat golden rice will benefit from improved nutrition, health and quality of life. The journey of golden rice has been a relay, with different stakeholders taking the lead at each of the key stages, passing the baton on to the next in line. It's become an international collaboration of researchers and other experts, working towards improved health and nutrition through biofortification. The goal of bringing golden rice to farmers' fields and on to consumers' tables is within reach. <laughs>